Hello and welcome, I'm Maria McMahon and I wanted to make a series of videos based on my book, The Top 50 Red Flags of Romantic Predators, How to Avoid the Narcissist Trap. Now that's a lot, a lot of red flags to get through, so I'm going to be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday until I've got them all done. I'm actually aiming to keep them all quite short, you know, maybe five to ten minutes. So it won't take long for you to just learn the basics about these different red flags, which are just so vital to help you protect yourself from those romantic predatory narcissists that are out there, okay? So do come and join me regularly and let me share all these red flags with you. Thank you very much for joining me. So let's get started with today's video. Okay, so today kicking off with red flag number one. And red flag number one is not trusting your intuition. Now, I've lost count of people who told me that they knew, they just knew that something was off when they met this person who seemed so wonderful. But they ignored the warning signs and the alarm bells. And if you're watching this now in the wake of your own narcissistic relationship, I bet you're nodding in agreement. But why? Why didn't you heed the warning signs? And I bet that's a question you've asked yourself a thousand times as well. And it's basically because romantic predatory narcissists are skilled manipulators and they know exactly how to roll the dice. So in the beginning, they love bomb you to the heavens and you just want this new relationship to work out. So you brush aside your better judgment because basically the good is just so good that you don't want to cast any shadows of doubt on this wonderful potential new relationship. But the good in the relationship very, very soon turns ugly and then you're thrust into the world of confusion and pain that is narcissistic abuse. And you find yourself wishing with all your heart that you could turn back the clock. Now, another thing that might worry you is, particularly you know, if you wanna get back into the dating scene is, what if I can't trust my intuition? And this really does apply if you've been in a narcissistic relationship. You want to get back into a new relationship, you know, you want to be in a loving relationship, but you're paralyzed by the fear of walking into another narcissist trap and you think, how do I know, how can I trust my, myself? How can I trust my intuition? Or it might be that you feel so disillusioned by what happened to you that you'll swear never to get into another relationship again. So you're not going to get into another relationship because of fear. So how do you avoid the trap of letting these things happen to you, letting yourself get into a narcissistic relationship, getting to the place where you're terrified you'll meet another one, or being so disillusioned with love that you, you swear off it for the rest of your life? How do you avoid all that happening in the first place? And the reason number one is number one is because it's one of the most important ones, and that is not trusting your gut. So the advice is tune into your gut, tune in and ask yourself when you're with a new person who seems too good to be true, but some things seem a little bit off, you're feeling a little bit uneasy, ask yourself why. Really ask yourself why. Now all your life you've been learning about people. We all do it from the time we're born and we start picking up signals from our parents and other influential people in our lives, you know, right on up to the current moment, to the here and now. And even if you've been abused and grew up with narcissistic parents, there's still that internal radar warning you. Now I do understand how growing up in such an environment with abusive or narcissistic parents distorts your worldview and why you then attract more narcissists into your life, but it doesn't change the fact how we feel around people is important. So if you feel something is wrong or off or odd or even vaguely familiar about this new suitor, tune in carefully and ask yourself, what is it about them that's causing this feeling? What is your inner emotional barometer, as I'm calling it, trying to tell you? So do yourself the best favor you can just to try and protect yourself. So listen, tune into your gut and listen. And then keep watching out for other red flags. 
and tune in regularly to my series of red flags videos. There are 50 of them. So tune in, get to know all these flags so that you can protect yourself and you don't fall for another narcissist. Okay, and I'll be back again soon. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that, um, that flag useful to know about. So my name is Maria McMahon. I'm a clinical NLP hypnotherapist and I help women and men who are trying to overcome narcissistic abuse. I have two Facebook groups. One is for guys, it's private group, guys only. One is for women, also private group, women only. So what I'll do is I'll put a link below the video, um, some links about how you'd like, um, if you wanted to connect with me, how you'll be able to connect with me. Um, I'll also put a link to the book, which is currently on Amazon for just 99 cents, so it's pretty cheap. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like and comment and subscribe and come back soon for more red flags, because every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be posting until I get through all the 50. Okay, so thank you very much again, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.